Smashing Pumpkins scored a huge victory in hiring a new guitar player for their band to go out on tour with them. And the guitarist that they hired is Kiki Wong. And Kiki Wong is presently in the band Vigil of War. And there are many reasons why this was a great move by Smashing Pumpkins. And there's one reason why I think it might be a really bad idea. And I'm going to tell you all of that in just a second. But first, let's delve into a little bit of the background on how she got the job. And most of the information I'm going to quote from here comes from an article from CBS News, believe it or not, by Lee Cohen called 10,000 People Applied to Be the Smashing Pumpkins Next Guitarist Meet the Woman Who Got the job. So like the title of the article says, 10,000 people responded to a public call that Smashing Pumpkins put out. They needed to employ eight people working full time to go through the 10,000 submission. So after they effectively auditioned 10,000 people, they ended up going with someone who was already a favorite Billy Corgan says that he was a fan of hers way before she submitted her name to be considered. So despite the fact that they had an open submission to see who might fill the slot, they went with somebody that they were already aware of. I think that's interesting. I think that the fact that 10,000 people applied is very interesting and I think we'll see more of this in the future with other bands. Alright, the next thing that I want to mention is a little bit of background on Kiki herself. It says here that she started out playing when she was about six years old, taking classical piano lessons. She got an acoustic guitar at 13. She plays the drums. In Vigil of War, she plays bass guitar and rhythm guitar. So she's an all-around musician, and I think this is a hugely important factor in terms of why hiring her tour with the Smashing Pumpkins was such a good move. So if you want to infuse the band with new energy and new blood and you want to keep the spirit of the band going for the next generation, it's essential that you add somebody who has both a knowledge of what's going on in the world today but also deep roots in history. So as the article points out, the Smashing Pumpkins have been an iconic alternative rock band for decades. They plan, perhaps, to continue for several more decades. And to do this, they've added a new member who is herself a skilled veteran, but because she started so young, she brings some new blood and new energy to the band. All right, these are really good reasons why she is a good choice for the spot. So what was the drawback that I was talking about? Well, that has to do with the band that she was in called Vigil of War. And Vigil of War is a really good band. If you haven't heard them, I suggest that you check them out. And I suggest that you look for some live clips. Really good feeling for what Kiki's doing. One great live clip, a sort of an older one, comes from their performance of Choke during quarantine. And you can get that here on YouTube. And you can see the band sort of up close and personal. And they have a great sound. They're efficient musicians. They don't use backing tracks. They don't use auto-tune. They're not faking anything. They have a solid, heavy rock, aggressive style. And it comes through more in their live performances than in their recorded performances, which are good, but their recorded performances seem to lack a little bit of the vitality that is evident in their live shows. Now you could say that about a lot of bands, and I think that that's going to be coming more and more true with the new approaches toward production. Those are all topics for separate videos in and of themselves. But for right now, I would say Vigil of War is a really good band. If you like heavy music, give them a listen. Now that brings me to my point of what might be the downside to having Kiki join Smashing Pumpkins. And that is the potential of it interfering with what's going on with her work in Vigil of War. It's not that I'm a huge Vigil of War fan. But I think that they're a promising band. They have a lot of life left in them. I'd be interested to see where they're going, especially with Kiki playing a, a more dynamic, integral role in what they might be doing in the future. Now, I'm not saying that her touring with Smashing Pumpkins will harm her work with Vigil of War, but it may diminish or interrupt it. And that would be a shame because I think that band shows a tremendous amount of promise. Now, for those of you who are Smashing Pumpkins fans, I would love to know your perspective on this, on whether or not you think 
bringing in someone of her background and her nature is a good move for the band and whether or not you're exciting about the prospect. I'm not a huge Smashing Pumpkins fan, but that's not really influencing my opinion on this particular topic. What's influencing my opinion more is my sense that Vigil of War could really go somewhere if they just had a little more time to gel. And the lead singer, Alicia Vigil, is very talented. She has kind of a distinctive voice and she's a great delivery. The guitar player, Shane Taylor, he's right down the pipe so far as classic heavy riffs go, but he has a certain personality and fluidity to him. So I like what I'm hearing from them and I would like to hear more from them in the future. Anyway, this is what I think, but what really matters is what you think. So if you have an idea about this or any other topic connected to classic or contemporary music, please drop it in the section below and remember to like and subscribe. I'd also like to remind you that there's a join button available for those of you who would like to support the site. If you choose to join, you'll have access to members only badges, members only polls, members only videos, and a lot of other cool perks that you can see by clicking on the join button, which I hope you'll do. Thanks a lot.